Here we will show you how to find LSPA9 power metering socket, this time the ESP8266 version. Keep in mind that this smart socket may be also sold with BK7231, so in case of big and cheap, refer to our other videos. The socket was cheaply bought on AliExpress for about $3. Let's start by opening the case. The case is sometimes glued, but in our case it came off easily. Now unscrew the board and pull it out. We need to check which Wi-Fi module is inside. As you can see, this time it's an ESP module. We can flash it with Tasmota. Now you should also inspect all connections on the PCB. This is required only if you don't have a Tasmota template for this device already. You need to know roles of each GPIO, where is relay connected, where is button connected and so on. Also check the connection of BL power metering chip. Then you can flash firmware. Let's start by desoldering this module. Add some flux to the pads and remove the solder with soldering wick. The module should fall off from the board. Here is the ESP module. It's a strange version of TYWE2S. It doesn't seem to have IO0 pin on the back, but luckily IO0 is one of the pads at the bottom. See the schematic on the screen for the full pinout of that module. This is ESP module, so we need to solder 5 wires. We are going to solder 3.3V connection, grant, RX, TX and IO0. Start with adding flex to the pads, then add some PB solder, then solder wires one by one. Make sure to first thin the pads and then thin the wires, so it's easier to solder them together. Also remember to use PB solder, which has a lower melting temperature and it's more easy to use. Then you should make a circuit on the PCB, get a 3.3V power supply. We have used an LDO regulator for that. Connect IO0 to ground, so ESP will start in the bootloader mode. Here is our full circuit. The USB to UART converter is also in 3.3V mode. You can see schematic on the screen. Now on your PC use ESP tool Python script to first make a 2 MB backup of the firmware and then flash Tasmota to your device. You have put both read and write commands on the screen. Remember that you have to reconnect power after each flash operation. Then you can also check if Tasmota access point shows up, but first you must disconnect IO0 from ground and again reconnect power. Finally, it's time to desolder flashing wires from the module and clear the pads from the solder with solder wick, so it can be put back to the device. Then position the board on its place, add some more flux and solder the pads one by one. Finally, clear the board from flux residue and put it back in the case. You will also most likely need to glue the case so it doesn't come up during usage. Then you should configure Tasmota. First connect to open access point and then enter your Wi-Fi data. Finally, configure the GPIO roles. We haven't configured it in our video, but you can read more about Tasmota configuration on our forum. You can also get a template for this device there. In case of power metering devices, you also need to calibrate it. See video description for calibration process details. Finally, the socket is working and power measurements are correct. Now you can control it with Tasmota Admin and connect to Home Assistant. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please visit our forum. You can also visit our IoT devices turndowns, templates and guides list. See link in the video description. See ya!